this is Rob with SalesPad. And in this session, I want to show you how to troubleshoot licensing errors. Uh, licensing errors typically show themselves as two in two categories. The first being internet or connectivity errors, which commonly happen if a workstation isn't connected to the internet so that it can talk to SalesPad servers. Um, the second category has to do with an actual licensing error, which happens when the GP site name isn't registered, or uh, we at SalesPad don't have your GP site name so that we can uh, set the license to, uh, to authenticate correctly. To begin, I, I'd like to look at the, uh, the internet and connectivity errors first. These typically show themselves as uh, errors when, when first, running, first attempting to uh, retrieve the license. Uh, right here, you'll see it's prompting me to go online and check for this license right now. I'm going to click Yes, and uh, it's going to give me the default license pad uh, from which it will retrieve the license from our servers. Uh, generally the, the default will be OK. So I'm going to click OK and you see it was successful for me because I'm online. If the machine isn't um, retrieving the license at this point or if an error pops up giving um, network errors uh, then the first step to look at would be the internet, the machine's connectivity to the internet. Uh, for that you would, uh, your best bet would probably be to contact your network administrator. In the case that that it connects just fine and um, this message box shows that the license was unsuccessfully retrieved the next step would be to look at um, to look at the GP site name and that can be accessed under in Dynamics GP under the tools system and uh, registration that that window will have to show a site name that's unique to your organization uh, so that we can authenticate a sales pad a sales pad license against that if that isn't done um, like I said, the, uh, this message will show that the license was unsuccessful and will then uh, notify you that. Um, so seeing how mine went through, I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And we'll see that I'm now logged into SalesPad. And uh, I want to I look at another area. Um, and that is updating a license once, uh, if we already have one. So right now I, I already have a license and I want to go, let's say, and update it after adding more after adding additional seats. So I'm going to click on Help and About, and here here we can see how many seats we have available, um, more details of the license, and from here I can just go update the license, and the same process follows. I just click OK, and it was uh, it's telling me that it was successfully updated. Um, another uh, another area that can uh, cause problems is the permission the Windows permissions for storing the license um, and that happens when the license file once the license file is downloaded and it needs to be stored on on your local machine um, Windows permissions error can prevent that from happening so a good way to check that is to in this about sales pad window is just to double click in here which will then open up the the file folder where um, where the license file is stored you can see mine is um, license to uh, Vectus in this case and uh, if I go that's not what I want to click on if I open up my folder I can I can see that the file is here so typically if there are uh, permission errors I will not be able to to write a file into this folder and uh, again your system administrator would be th the person to go to to set the proper permissions on this folder again to get to it simply go to help about and double click on this metal panel and it will take you to the folder where, where salespad is trying to store the license so to recap um, any network or connectivity issues would be best directed to a local IT support person uh, GP site name registration questions would go to your GP dealer and once you have that site name and it's verified uh, then you can go ahead and call us so that we can get that um, site name entered into our system so that you can authenticate and retrieve your license. Thanks and once again this is Rob with SalesPad and thanks for watching this video.